If you are dealing with electronics, definitely you must have these three cheap gadgets from AliExpress. And why are so useful? Hey, well, if you are watching this video till the end, definitely you will gonna understand. Welcome back guys to another video on my channel and uh, I will gonna show you why I recommend these three gadgets. So for example this one, it's really handy if you have devices that are powered with the standard barrel jack. And uh, I'm gonna show you why. Because for example, I have this that is powering with 5 volts with the standard barrel jack and it says 5 volts so we can use any USB charger for that one because the USB charger is delivering 5 volts. And... Uh, let me connect everything and show you what I mean with that. So as soon you connect the barrel jack over here, we're gonna tell you the information like how many volts you have from your uh, from your charger. So you can see it shows clear that there is 5.180 uh, millivolts. Let's say that this device is not working. Actually, it's working perfectly, but let's presume it's not working. So for example, when you plug in. Definitely will not show you any power that is taking the device because it switch it off. And let's see for example this device is not displaying nothing. So example is working perfectly but let's see it's not displaying nothing. So when you turn on the device and if you see that it's taking some power and for example the power that is taking is in the range that it says on the data sheet that need a power supply let's see around 2 amps and it's drawing around 2 amps and it's not displaying nothing, you can understand that maybe the device is working perfectly and there is an issue with the display. Because as long as it's taking the normal power, I don't see any other issues rather than to go straight away to check the display. Another example, let's see you turn it on and it's taking too much power. Then you're gonna understand that the device has something shorted and is taking more than how much power that should take the device. And another example is you turn it on but still doesn't take any power. This means definitely can lead you that internal there is a fuse that maybe is blown up. And what the fuse can be blown? Because after the fuse something is shorted and is taking too much power that the fuse cannot handle. So this is definitely a cheap and easy way how to quick diagnose a device what's going on with it, why it's broken and why it's defective. And uh, for example you can go for this one. This one is a bit more um, advanced because uh, for example if you are dealing more with the USB devices like mobile phones or laptops also can do this one that powering with the USB-C this one can be definitely better than this one. So I'm going to demonstrate you the same things what I did so far with this one because we have the USB-A which my uh, USB charger have the USB-A over there. So I'm going to connect this one to it right now. So as soon as I power it on you can see that there is 5 volts and 100 millivolts that uh, deliver our charger and it will gonna give you the same things that the other device was showing me so for example now it's not powered on so it's not taking any power and the same if you turn it on we're gonna definitely show you how much current the device is taken and you can go through the same uh, types of issues that I described it earlier if it's not taking any power, this means maybe a fuse inside is blown. And if the fuse is blown, because behind the blown, there is, behind the fuse, there is something shorted. If it's taking the the, the normal current that the, the device says that should take, this means you might have a problem with the display if it's not showing the display, and so on. If it's taking too much, definitely something is shorted straight away from the power over there and what is more interested about this device that he knows also to communicate those uh, PD power delivery protocols and can do also PD3 and PD3.1 and uh, let me show you what I mean by that so on this case definitely this one will gonna be also handy because for example you can see over here I have my power supply set up to 20 volts 
So this one is coming out from my power supply and you will gonna plug on this device over here but see doesn't go so that's why it's good to have this one because it's doing an adapter and that's why all three I recommend them because three of them they will gonna work nice together as soon as I plug this one to this device soon as I plug you can see that we have 20 volts that coming uh, out from our power supply so it's good to check the voltage also before this device let's see you don't have a bench power supply like how I have you have just a normal um, laptop power supply which using this uh, kind of DC jack the barrel DC jack and it will gonna tell you the voltage so this device is a PD controller which negotiate the voltage with your device which you want to connect to it because this one is not a power delivery this is just a power meter but knows to send those data with the protocols in order that the device that you connect here will gonna send the data up to this device in order to negotiate the right voltage so let me connect it and show you what I mean by that so how you can see we have 20 volts that come to this device and 20 volts is stopping here from here we don't have any voltage coming out so far so let me connect a mobile phone to show you what I mean by that so I'm gonna use a normal uh, USB-C cable make sure it's a powerful one because this one is capable to 65 watts and we're gonna connect the USB-C over here I'm gonna take my mobile and I'm gonna connect it over here as soon I plug it you can say that it starts charging and because it's almost fully charged will not negotiate uh, more than 5 volts to the PD controller because doesn't need too much power to be fully charged let me connect a different mobile right now so I'm connecting this mobile which is uh, need more power to get fully charged and you can see it already negotiate the voltage to 9 volts and it's taking almost 1 amp to charge then I have also this laptop which is a uh, Razer which has the USB-C's over here this one is defective doesn't have even a battery inside so I'm gonna might do a live stream on try to fixing this device let's see I hope that it will gonna work without battery to can make it work because there is some laptops that if there is no battery connected to it will not turn it on so we're gonna see which type of laptop is this one and have a look if I connect this one to it will definitely negotiate the voltage that this laptop needs to work 19.4 and that's what say here 19.5 volts in order that this laptop needs to work so definitely this device will gonna help you a lot when you deal with PD controllers because definitely can negotiate the voltage this one can tell you exactly the voltage on the output and this one can tell you the voltage on the input definitely if you are doing electronics and you are doing like repairs and uh, you're dealing with uh, this kind of power supplies with the USB C's these items you must have them in your working bench they are gonna save you a lot of time in order to quick diagnose and have an idea what can be wrong with the device that you are trying to fix it and about this one how that works so if you are using the USB-C it will gonna work this input with this output and if you are using the USB-A it will gonna work this input with this output and definitely also on the USB-A is going the protocols because there is those kind of chargers that they are using USB-A but still they are doing power delivery through the USB-A and then at the end of the USB-A they have a USB-C to power the device and this one is doing straight away over here and you have also few buttons that you can scroll to the menu to see few things I hope you find this video useful and you understand why I really recommend this uh, three cheap gadget uh, you're gonna see the links on the description down below go check them out you're gonna see they are really cheap and they are really useful and definitely recommend them you, you're gonna save a lot of time when you try to diagnose a device so if you are also interested on all other equipment and tools which I am using on my working bench you're gonna find same links down below and if you enjoyed this video don't forget to give me a like 
And if you are new watching my video, please subscribe, activate also the notification bell to don't miss my next videos. And until the next video, guys, have a good day and bye bye.